Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the process of how I healed a damaged nail. So let's get right into the video. All right, so a quick disclaimer, I will be showing my nail in its pretty damaged state. So if you don't wanna see that, you can totally feel free to click off right now. So this was on November 21st, the day that I had the incident. So I had dip nails on and I was bowling and I felt that the nail was lifting towards the cuticle area but it was still secure on the tip. And so while I was bowling it kept bending back and putting pressure on the tip and you can sort of see that red line where the nail started to crack. So I had to take off the dip powder and this is what the nail looked like underneath after I cut it. And then here is the day after the 22nd, so you can see there is quite a bit of trauma on the surface with the layers peeling off, and my finger actually started to swell up and turn purple, and you can kind of see that in the middle and right picture. And this was actually very painful, and it was definitely um, not something that I wanted to deal with, so I actually ended up cutting off the rest of my nails to match this length to help save them. And here was on November 24th, so you can really see here the bruising under the nail and that pretty deep line where the nail actually cracked. Um, so yeah, this was when it was starting to heal and I actually just kept putting a band-aid over this finger because I didn't want to touch it, I wanted to just leave it alone and let it heal itself. And then this was on November 26th, so you can see pretty much all of the peeling had went away. There is just some bruising and of course the deep crack down the middle of that nail. So it is looking a lot better here, um, and it definitely will have to grow out and continue to heal, but this is pretty much all just due to keeping it protected and not fussing with it. So here is what the nail looks like, and as you can see here, my other nails are quite long, and I'm going to cut those down to match the length, which is what I did on my other hand. So the first thing I'm going to do to sort of fix up this nail is file the free edge and make it nice and smooth so that it doesn't get caught on anything or break further. Then I'm going to prep it by pushing the cuticle back and this is going to make sure our dip product that we are going to apply adheres properly and lasts as long as possible. Then I'm going to super lightly buff the surface of the nail. I don't want to buff too hard because I don't want to take off any of the layers, especially where that crack is, so I want to keep the nail as strong as possible while still just roughing up the surface slightly. And here what the nails look like after all of that prep. And you can really see here that sort of deeper crack right down the middle. It doesn't especially hurt anymore. I mean, obviously a little bit of pressure is going to make it feel uncomfortable, but it isn't as painful as it was the day after. So now I'm just applying a layer of dehydrator and I'm going to use my Sparkle & Co clear powder to build up some strength on the nail. And I'm going to add this onto my nail using my Sparkle & Co base bond liquid. So I'm going to apply about a 3 4 layer to my nail and then dip into the clear. Now this is going to add a little bit more strength, especially towards the tip area, to make sure that the nail doesn't crack any farther and is protected. And then the color I'm using is Cherry of Love from Double Dip, which is a gorgeous red shade. And I'm going to do two full coats of this on my nail to add the color. Now originally for this video, I was going to keep the rest of my nails long and apply an extension to this nail to make it back to the length of the others. However, it was in a pretty bad state and applying a tip wasn't the best idea since the tip of my natural nail is pretty weak and I don't want it to totally snap off yet. So I decided it was best just to keep it really short and apply a layer of dip product on top to help strengthen it and let it grow out. So when you are fixing a nail, it's sort of crucial to assess how bad the nail is and what you can actually do with it. So this is the method that I thought would work best for me and it actually ended up working out pretty great and I'm just going to see what happens and let the nail grow out before I do any major things with it. So here I'm just clear encapsulating that red color. And now I'm going to activate the nail using Sparkle & Co Solidify and this is going to harden up all of the powder. And then I went ahead and just filed smooth off camera and I'm going to seal in the dip powder with a gel top coat. 
and I'm just going to apply a nice thin layer and then cure for 30 seconds. And after I've worn this nail for a little bit, I found that I've had no issues with this process working. My nail feels perfectly fine underneath and I'm pretty happy with how this nail turned out. So as you can see here again, this was the full process and before and after of healing this nail. Obviously it's not totally fixed, but by doing this, I will help the nail grow out where I can eventually just cut it short and grow fresh. So I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.